The difference between a mechanical and a quartz, and I'm sure that most of the people that are watching this um, know, know the difference, all right? But there's some people out there that might say, well, what's the diff? Well, I'll tell you, the, the quartz watch has a battery in it, and it's a little electronic uh, machine. That's what it is, okay? And how it works, in a nutshell. The battery sends the charge to the, the crystal, okay, the quartz crystal, and it vibrates at 32,768 times a second. It electronically keeps dividing it down by twos until it gets down to one and it goes to tick, all right? And then it starts over again. 32,700 it keeps dividing it. It's an amazing piece of technology, it is. But I gotta tell you, the technology in a watch goes back to the 1500s and from there forward. And um, man has uh, done a, a marvelous job of taking springs and gears and having a timepiece that keeps uh, Excellent time, excellent time, all right? Of Rolex, as most modern watches today, uh, ticks 28,800 times an hour. That's an amazing number. You multiply that by 24, by 30 years, that, that's an amazing machine, uh, just like a car, okay? In a mechanical machine uh, with a lot of tensions and vibrations and uh, um, uh, a standard um, uh, speed, okay, you have to deal with with position, uh, down, okay? So that watch is all over the place. It's not standing still. But while it's doing that, all right, you have to adjust for temperature, you have to adjust for uh, position, you have to adjust for gravity, you have to adjust for the strength of the mainspring because the mainspring is not wound as tight at five in the morning as it is at six o'clock when you got off of work. There's all these different things that, that uh, man has learned how to adjust for and, and what it, uh, the jeweling, okay, and mostly uh, the metals that they use, which are hybrid metals, and the springs that they use today. The jewels are not what goes in your bracelet, the jewels are synthetic rubies on a scale of one to ten. There are nine in hardness, a diamond being ten, there are nine. So, what it does, what it does, is they act as bearings, okay, and that's what it is, so the watch doesn't wear out, all right, and uh, so. All these different things, and plus they're a beautiful thing to look at. And they self-wind, and they have a calendar. It's amazing all the things that they can do and keep amazing time.